Today, I want you to go back with me to the beginning of your time. As you were growing up as a baby, who could resist those big, fat, pudgy cheeks of yours? Oh, you were so cute. And then you turned five, and things were so fresh. Every day was fun for you. You even remember the time when you entered into first grade. You were outside playing at recess time with your friends during the winter, and you were all sliding on the ice. Then you saw your very first girlfriend that you ever had. Her name was Katie. And you decided to show off in front of her. And as you were showing off, your feet came out from under you. You fell down face first right on the ice. And you had one of your very first bloody lips. Life just seemed like it went on forever. Oh, the years felt like they were 10 years. The next thing you knew, you were entering in to your teen years. Oh, you were junior high years. And you were having fun and being with your friends and discovering life, a new season of life. And then all you wanted was to be 16, to have your driver's license, and to have a girlfriend you could drive around and take out on your first date. Well, before you knew it, those years came. And then those years came, and then the next season you wanted, I want to go to college. And as you entered into college, you thought, well, I got four years. And then not only four years came, but then three years, two years, one year. And those years were over. You're now going into your career. You fall in love with a beautiful young lady, and you get married. You start a family, and before you know it, and older and older and older. And then you're at the old age of 47. You got it. I remember when I was a teenager, I would look at guys that were 40 and thought that they were old. Well, here I am, 47. You know, this metamorphosis has taken place and taken different shapes on my face. I look in the mirror and I see wrinkles and I see bags under my eyes and I don't like what I'm looking at. And lot, none of us like getting older, but it's the way of life. It's the way God has designed it. And as we get older and older and older, the next thing we know, we're traveling on Route 66. And as we're on that Route 66, we're in those retirement years. We're in those thing, those years that are called the golden years. It's a different season of life. Well, today we're going to be talking to a couple that have gone through all the seasons. And they're at their last season of life. Route 66. They're traveling on. And they're going to be talking to us about all the things they wish they would have done different. The things that they're so glad they didn't do different and they just stayed the course with. So enjoy. As we talk to them and interview them on this last uh, service, this last sermon on Life is a Highway. You know what I'm going to do when I'm on Route 66 traveling? If Tammy likes it or not, I'm going to be getting myself a Harley. You got it. You got it right. A Harley Davidson. I'm going to be cranking that motor up and traveling. If Tammy's on the back end or not, if I got to travel by myself, I'm going to get myself a Harley. And I can't wait because on Route 66, here I come, Harley and all. Get your kicks on Route 66. Get your kicks on Route 66. I'm getting myself a Harley. One way or the other, man. Woo, we made it out. 
That's the scary part. As I said earlier, that will be the only time I get on the back of the bike with you. Man, you I know, haven't got... Jesus came riding in on a donkey. I figured if we got to ride in on a Harley, at least we got to have palm branches. It is. <laughs> little tradition. <laughs> It is Palm Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> I bet we're the only church on Palm Sunday coming down to Harley. I'm pretty sure. Now, you have the sports bike over here, and you have an RPM gauge on it. You have a tachometer, and man, you just want to rev. But then on the Harley, as I wrote it out, it's just, you know, it doesn't have any RPMs on it. And... It's a lot more mature. It's very loud, I will say that. (laughs) Oh, don't you love that, men? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, when you start that up, and it has a remote starter on it. Uh, If you're 15 feet away, it won't start with that remote. You don't have to use a key. I mean, what a mature bike. And so I can see why guys get this on Route 66. Now, we're going to be doing something different. Now, I've told you that a couple from the South is going to join us this morning because I did not feel adequate to, um, to share uh, on Route 66. So I want us, in a little bit, we're going to bring my mom and dad on video uh, phone, video internet. In fact, they've been watching the whole service. All right. Can you see? Good morning from Florida. It's 84 degrees. Oh. <laughs> and we, we have the palm trees all over the place for Palm Sunday. Well, we're getting snowflakes outside. But did you see us drive in on the old Harley there? We did. What a good looking couple. You know, <laughs> Jeff, you can be mighty thankful that you have the kind of wife you have. I could never see your mother coming in on the Harley with me. You can just be thankful that uh, Tammy is so amenable to do what you ask. Well, you're right, because that's right. Give her a good hand. I also love the way she got Palm Sunday in there. Yeah. I knew you would. (laughs) 